Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee um, out here doing a little work today and I'm going to show you guys how to utilize antler material for making handles. And uh, I'm going to actually put a couple handles on a couple ferro rods that I got here and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And I'm going to do that with the um, antlers that I recovered from uh, that dead deer I found back in the uh, winter time in my uh, circle of life video I uh, went out there and uh, I recovered these uh, pieces of antler and I got them cleaned up so uh, they can be used for uh, making these handles and I'm gonna make something like this this is one that I made a couple of years back this is a, a half inch one that I made with the uh, crown and um, the brow tine on uh, an antler that I found anyway um, <clears throat> the uh, the base portion right here, this is what's called the crown. That is actually the part of the antler that rests up against the um, deer's skull. And uh, antler material makes really good um, handle material because it's porous. It's very porous on a microscopic level, which means it uh, absorbs adhesive really, really well. And the adhesive that I use on this is just a regular um, epoxy. Now, um, a little bit of the prep things on uh, the ferro rods that have to be done. You take a little sandpaper and uh, you sand the base where you want to go in. You want to go in about an inch on these um, antlers so they're strong enough to take the abuse of actually using these. And these uh, lanyard holes these are the part, the end that's going to go into um, the handle, and actually we are going to pack these lanyard holes right full of that epoxy, so there's plenty of epoxy in there um, when we put um, these into the uh, antlers. And uh, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take my drill, I don't know if you can see it there, but I got a piece of tape on there, and this is about an inch, this is about how far down in that I'm going to go into the uh, antler when I drill it from the crown end. So I'm going to actually take this, going to wrap this with some uh, towel or something. I'm going to set it in my vise. I'll tip the uh, camera down and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. And then I'm going to drill into this that uh, one inch. Now, antlers are curved. So you got to take that into account when you're drilling. You don't want to drill necessarily in the very center of this. You're going to follow the curve, the natural curve of the antler so that you have enough material around there so you don't actually drill out the side. Um, and another thing too is uh, if you want to take sandpaper you can smooth off the edges or if you're only using a portion of an antler like I did on this one here you can actually kind of put a little bit of a bevel on the edge of this so you don't have any um, sharp edges now these antlers could actually be cut shorter and I could save this tip but I'm actually going to just use the whole antler for this I like using this little brow tine here because that kind of fits in your hand nicely so it gives you a good um, positive uh, grip so uh, anyway I'm gonna get the uh, antlers wrapped here and in my vise I'm gonna turn this around I'm gonna show you guys how to drill these holes all right I took a uh, small awl and I made a little dimple in here for the um, drill bit to uh, ride in and uh, there's my uh, drill bit there it's a 3 8 drill bit because I'm using 3 8 ferro rods today I'm gonna try to get this hole in here I'm gonna see if I can show you guys what that looks like you can see here I'm kind of following the angle of the curve of the antler and we're gonna start drilling this out now just kind of take it slow it's gonna throw a lot of chips and stuff out because uh, the antler material is um, it's a little bit like wood I guess when you start drilling into it down to our tape so we're going to back the bit back out all right I'm going to uh, take this out of here show you what the hole looks like and that is what the hole looks like back that up there so you guys can see it a little bit uh, just got to make sure that you uh, knock all the uh, dust out of this so the uh, glue adheres now I'm going to mix up a little bit of epoxy I'm going to get that on that uh, ferro rod and we're going to get that in the uh, 
hole there and we're going to get it seated. All right, got a little epoxy mixed up here and uh, got just a plastic butter knife and we're going to put a little coating of that epoxy on the ferro rod, kind of paying attention to uh, fill that lanyard hole full of epoxy. That will uh, give it a little bit extra strength. And then we are going to uh, put the antler back in the vise and we are going to uh, drive this in with, uh, kind of get an even spread there. Take our wooden mallet then and we're going to uh, drive this into the antler. You guys can see there it is seated down about as far as I want now I'm going to take my uh, knife and I'm going to kind of smooth out that epoxy and then we're going to let this set for a little bit to uh, set up well guys this is uh, what they look like you can see there got uh, the ferro rods in there and uh, glued on. I'm going to let that epoxy go probably about 24 hours and then it should be set up good and you can uh, you can start using these. But we got this uh, brow tine on here which gives it a good handle to uh, hold on to when you're when you're striking these. Go over this with a little um, sandpaper as well to take this black coating off here before you start uh, using these. Here is uh, the other one. Same thing. It's got that little curve in there so you can hold on to it um, to strike it. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys this uh, real quick uh, tip here on how to use handle, uh, make handle material out of antler. Like I said, antler is a great natural handle material because it is so porous it takes up uh, that epoxy. It's great for knife handles. It's great. Could make a file handle. You can make pretty much anything out of uh, antler as long as you got a big enough piece of antler to uh, do it with. But uh, so I wanted to show you guys how to do that with uh, with those antlers that I found out in the woods. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information, a little entertainment out of this video here. Just another uh, idea to use a natural material. You guys take care. All right, we're going to give the uh, ferro rod a try here. Got some uh, uh, fat wood shavings here. 